Slow Mr. Moore. Wow. wow. First of all, I'd like to give the honorable and holy, illustrious prophet Nobu Ali his honors for doing the job well done. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be sitting here doing what we're doing right now, carrying on the work. Also, I'd like to give worship and praise and admiration to Allah, who's the husband of all things, and to his wife, the Holy Breath. Uh. Because at times, people tend to, tend to chastise this movement as if it's a patriarchal movement, strictly, based on just men. Well, on the cover, the prophet was holding a woman in his arms. Pulling her out. See, this is a new era of time. He was pulling her out of an old era. This is a new era of time. So what we what, we, what I'm going to demonstrate today is how important the woman is. That's wow. A law is the husbandman of all things. The holy breath, also known as she, also known as truth, when conjoined, brought forth those seven Elohim that created everything. That is, ever was, or more to be. That's wow. Amen. Well, how significant is that? What does that What does that really mean? What that means is is that this marriage that takes place in the cosmic creation also takes place in man. You understand where I'm going with this? It's wrong. The holy breath is also known as the truth, but we call the holy breath she. We also know that the highest self is a law in man. The highest self is the mother of all virtue and breeds justice, mercy, love, and right. That's wow. Are you with me? It's wow. Okay. Right. Because I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be too long. I don't speak long. I'm very, very brief and to the point. Understanding that a law in man, the highest self being the mother, and that a law is in every man, then you must ask yourself. What is the feminine dynamic of your own self? Now, don't get this twisted. Because when we hear the word feminine, we take a physical manifest and we put that into the mind and say, oh, I'm not a woman. This ain't got nothing to do with the physical representation of womanhood. What I'm demonstrating right now, this is dealing with a duality, a balance. Wow. A law is the husband man of all things. A law split his self. When he tore a piece of his self away, he split his self. And gave us the physical manifestation of his own self, and he split it on the physical manifest. See, we are one. This is, this is a one. Dem this is a one demonstration right here. This is one. When man and woman conjoins in the physical manifest, they bring about a creation, just as a law in the holy breath conjoin and brought about those seven Elohim. Mm. So again, we going to deal specifically on the aspect of the woman because she's most important. She's a goddess too. She stands right next to God. Mm. She's not secondary, utmost necessary. She don't stand behind you. Mm. She stand next to you. She stand with you. And sometimes she stand in front of you. It's law. So Ooh. on that note, brothers and sisters, I'm, I'm a very brief individual. I just well, want to share that. Please be less. A little bit of notes. A little bit of love. Peace. Peace. Oh, peace. Oh, oh. <laughs> don't leave us hungry like that. <laughs> wow. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Islam. 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 So, I want to thank you for thank you. Thank you for your undivided attention. Um, we also, in case you was, uh, was a little bit move, moving about, um, the President Obama, uh, who we call the proper president, <laughs> um, he and uh, the Vice President are in Philly today. And the union hall, this is a local union number 332, but it's not the only union hall that's connected to uh, Brother uh, Wazir and also Brother, uh, uh, Brother Stanton Bay. Okay. There are three other union halls, but they're all connected. And they all, this one here has about maybe 6,000 members. Okay. Most of them are, they build anything, anywhere in the world. They have bridges, the houses, or whatever. Um, so it's a good thing to know, but um, but collectively, you know, collectively, there are over sixty thousand members of the different union homes. Okay, and they are just labor union. All right, so uh, they will be coming through today, and there's a uh, so there's a busload of two that we gather together here, going over to see the president, and he's over in uh, Germantown. Um, this is another important 
uh, and show it, okay? And uh, so they're going to go with the and then on to them. Upstairs, the, the big picture, a lot of people have direct connections with the Obama administration, okay? Are uh, here at the union. In fact, as you want to know, that in the president, nobody's going to move without the union, <laughs> the labor union, okay? So, I mean, it's just like that. It don't mean that they're controlling things, but you ain't going to get very much done because they don't want to shut you down. Okay? And they try to beat it out a lot. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, so if you see a lot of moving going on uh, in the next couple of hours, then that, that's, that's really what it's all about, okay? You, see, so, you know, they're not here, they're not for the meeting, but they're not there. So that's what that is, okay? Um, anyway, uh, also I want to call on Brother Michael. Uh, this one here, we go back a ways. I didn't want to talk about that far. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he's had a tremendous amount of work uh, on his shoulders. And uh, uh, he's not been able to like to, you know how some more than another way they can brush your shoulders off and that's the end of it? It ain't like that. You just don't brush this off. Mm. Okay? So uh, I want to extend much honor to him for his steadfastness and his support. Um, he was here at several temples, you know, that we had up in Baltimore, and he has been right there on the front line uh, down through the years. I don't want to spend much honor for him. And if Brother Michelle comes before you, please give him during the ride of the temple. That's fine. That's fine.